Hello, good morning, and welcome to the celebration space. My name is Carrie Phelps, and today we are talking about my secret to a tidy linen closet. I This is kind of a secret that I use across my home, so I'm going to show you a couple of different examples. And linen closets are very exciting. So I'm in my guest bathroom right now. I do have a second linen closet on the master side, but if you've watched my video on organizing pet supplies or games, all fun and games, that is what we use that section for. And over here, we really use um, most of this closet for most of our linen. So I do have a towel rack in the other bathroom as well for extra towels that we use over there. And uh, yeah, so we'll dive into it. This will be pretty short and sweet. So we'll open up this closet. Ooh. And you can see this is my linen closet. And you might notice one thing, and that is that they are all folded with one edge facing out. So if you've seen my video on how to do vertical folding, that was my biggest takeaway from Marie Tidying Up with Marie Kondo on Netflix, was vertical folding. And it's really all about a file folding file folder method where you're going to have one clean edge that you're able to see and pull out your items. Well, that's something that I have incorporated as far as clean lines across my home. And one of the places I think this is especially important is in a linen closet. While it's not vertically stacked, it is going to help you to be able to grab one item and make it easier to pull out in one place. So just a little bit of the lay of the land here at the bottom. We have some gadgets down here. Then we have some uh, beach towels, pool towels, and just kind of utility towels. Up here we have bathroom towels over here and some washcloths on top. These are all kitchen towels. These are mostly guest towels for when we have people. This is the guest bathroom, so people are normally in this guest room and then using this shower. And then right here are all of the queen size sheets and up here are all of the full size sheets. So that's everything that I have in here. And so it's organized by category, but then it's also, like I said, having that clean edge facing out. I can show you an example of what it kind of looks like the opposite direction and I mean this is totally this is just like this is basically what what you make of it but yeah it just things flop around a little bit more when you're grabbing something it might fall um, I do keep all of my seasonal um, kitchen towels on top so that's why we have a little ghosty here um, so it's not like catastrophic I mean this is much more of an aesthetic choice um, and it might just help so that when you're pulling things out it doesn't get as messy here I'll flip this just to show you what that looks like too oh lots of towels lots of towels yeah I mean it's not catastrophic but it is something that just looks a little bit messier than before i'm going to show you a couple we're going to go on a little field trip um and i'll show you a couple of other places where i use this kind of clean edge method so one of the places is in the guest room itself i like to keep a blanket on the end of every bed so i like to have this here because i always get cold at night tyler's always freeze or always really warm i'm always really cold so i like to have a clean edge on the end of it if you flip it around, it's not a catastrophic difference. It's just that sometimes it gets messed up. So sometimes I'll, I'll pull it to the end and it's not a huge difference. But if it gets pulled up, if you are looking for more of a shabby chic look, that's something that you could go with. I also have some extra blankets over here and you'll notice that I like to have a clean edge up here. And lastly, we'll make a little field trip over to the reading room. And I do the same with this blanket in particular. So it's a clean edge going across here, but it could be this side. This has a jagged edge on here. So that's why I do that. It's really just an aesthetic preference. It's something that's gonna be, make things look a little bit cleaner, but 
It's just something that I find is really helpful with towels and sheets and things so that it doesn't grab other things or it doesn't come unraveled while I'm trying to pull it out. And everywhere else, it's just an aesthetic preference. So I hope that this might be a little bit helpful just for your linens and how you might want to fold things. And also, of course, with all linen closets, all things, just categorizing things and trying to get them to be about the same size and putting like you know, bigger items on the bottom and smaller items on top will help things from toppling or getting messed up. But that's all I have for you today. Just a reminder that I will not be here tomorrow. I am about to, I actually have my shoes on in the house. I rarely, you'll rarely see me doing a live with shoes on, but I am about to jet out to my car, hop in the car and drive down to Florida to celebrate um, my mom's birthday with her, just a quick 24 hours, and I will be back live on Thursday. So until Thursday, enjoy celebrating this week.